going to tell them what we want and what they need to do for our future generations. Under our rights! Under our rights! Can't drink oil! Drink oil! Can't drink oil! Drink oil! Knowing that people are back home and they can't be here today, our elders and our youth, our tiny babies, like they can't be here to run, so I ran for them. And I ran for our clean water. I run for my community. This is our life. This is our health. This is our future at stake. Where these pipelines are placed is not by accident. The United States government has pushed for the genocide and the erasure of our people for over 200 years since, since the first contact. And we're doing this work to become good ancestors one day. Before we had horses, before we had postal services, any type of messages that we did, we ran. We had runners to deliver those messages. So running, um, we're bringing back our historic way of life. My message to Biden is, can you see us now? Can you hear us now? We are still here. We sent this message five years ago in the Obama administration where you were vice president and now you can stop the Dakota Access Pipeline and you can stop Enbridge Line 3. You can stop fossil fuels altogether within the U.S. territory. The reason why we're so against pipelines is because of the destruction of our land. The land is who we are. We came here to bring back the black snake because if the Biden-Harris administration doesn't want this um, at their home, then they shouldn't bring it to ours. <laughs> stop, 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 st